you made tight. <laughs> Sandra's just had some lovely, witty banter for an absolutely adorable, charming man in the craft shop up at the farm here. It was absolutely charming. He's such a lovely guy, telling some really lovely tales. He showed Sandra's fairy. He gave her a fairy bubble from the Leviathan, was it, or something? What was it? Yeah. Showed her his pussy. Uh, what was the cat's name? I forgot. Matilda, was it, or something? Yeah. We'll call it Matilda anyway. A beautiful little cat. Well, big cat really to be honest, fast asleep in a box on the on the uh, counter. So he's doing the you know subtle hard sell there, aren't you know, telling us being very, very charming. What does Sandra buy? Five postcards for a pound. <laughs> and he told her about his he'd making a box for the Edgehog Hospital for a collection. Does Sandra contribute any money? <laughs> I'm going to give him a fiver. <laughs> Does Sandra <I'm> <laughs> offer anything? It doesn't mean to oh. say that he couldn't put it under the till or something when the box was ready. I know how five pounds. <sighs> <sighs> Terrible, <laughs> pitiful excuse that is, Sandra. An NHS worker. <laughs> NHS worker, that's no excuse, is it? Look, all them claps that they gave you on a Thursday night, that's got to be worth something, isn't it? That's worth oh. a million pounds in the bank, isn't it? Oh, my God. Pay rise would have been a nice for the uh, national surface workers, but one, I'll try not to be political this week, but as I'm on holiday and get on my soapbox because you don't, you don't really want to eat me, moan. You could be about me, you? Anyway, you we're, here, we're here offer at Land's a, End. A ring. Offer a ring. Did you want a ring? You have a lot of rings there. I've got all week to buy you a ring, darling. <laughs> and another ring. An engagement ring weren't good enough. They had you want to a bloody wedding ring next. Jesus. No pleasing this woman.